Hello, Cheyenne. Yeah, did Whitney come to your house at any point? Well, she's late and I'm worried and I don't know what else to do. Well, listen, if she stops by, tell her I want her home immediately. Okay. Thanks. Okay, who else should I call? Hi. Hi? That's all you could say is hi? Well, what am I supposed to say? Have a seat. Where were you? I was at my singing lesson. I called your voice instructor. Your singing lesson ended two hours ago. Oh, yeah, well, I went out with friends after. So, do you think we could order pizza for dinner? Whitney, why didn't you pick up a phone and call and tell me that you were going to be late? I was worried about you. Well, I'm home, okay? That's not the point. I'm responsible for you while your mom is on your business trip. Look, I'm sorry. Don't have a cow. Don't have a cow? Yeah, I mean, come on, I'm here, I'm safe. That's not the point, Whitney. You know what? You're gonna be home this weekend. But this weekend is my voice recital. I've been practicing for months. Well, you're just gonna have to miss it. You gotta be kidding me, I can't miss my voice recital. Well, I say you can. You can't tell me what to do, you're not my mother. This is what I get. I'm not getting paid enough for this. Ugh. Hey, Whitney, what's wrong? Mia is what's wrong. What do you mean? What happened? Mia had the nerve to ground me. You grounded? Yeah, just because I came home late without calling. Well, to be honest, I kind of agree with Mia. I mean, she was worried about you. She kept asking me if I knew where you were. You know, well, I think Mia's being really unfair and really unreasonable. I don't think she is. I mean, I hate to be the one to pick sides, but you're certainly not the side I'm picking. Some sister you are. You're right, I'm your sister, I'm not a saint. I kind of agree with me, I'm sorry to say that, but I do. I mean, Mia was worried about you. Yeah, well, she's making me mess my voice recital. Okay, maybe that is a little unreasonable, but you should have called her. So what are you saying, this is all my fault? Not saying that at all. I'm thinking it, but I'm not saying it. I think you should sit Mia down and you and her should talk. I don't want to talk to that little traitor. She thinks she could boss us around because mom's on a business trip. Well, she's getting paid to babysit us. Yeah, well, I don't need a babysit. And neither do you. Look, mom wants to, just wants to know that we're in good hands. But you really should have called Mia and tell her where you were. Mia called practically the whole neighborhood and she was crying and she was really upset. She thought something had happened to you. She was about to call the police to have to come looking for you. Mia was that worried about me? Yeah, she was. I guess I should apologize. It wouldn't be a bad idea. <sighs> Mia? Yes. Can we talk? Sure. What's going on? I want to apologize for worrying you. I was worried about you. I know. And I'm sorry that... I'm sorry about everything I said to you. About you not being my mother. Well, you were right. I'm not your mother. But I am your babysitter. And I like you like you're my own daughter. I like you and Asia that much. I know, and I'm sorry that I said you weren't my mother. I'm sorry, and I, you're right, I should have called to let you know where I was, and 
I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, too. What are you sorry for? Well, I know you should be punished for this, but maybe grounding you this weekend was a little extreme. You mean I can go to my voice recital? Sure. Why not? Me and Asia will be there, too, in the front row with a bucket of tomatoes. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, but next weekend you're grounded. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, but me and Cheyenne had plans to go to the mall. Don't push it. Done pushing. Thanks, Mia.